Okay, so a year ago, I did a Bluetooth speaker shootout with everything we had in the house, a Wonder Boom, this Bose speaker, a Reveal speaker, something else I can't remember, but then as a joke, kind of, I whipped up my own little uh, contender, which is a PAM 8403 with some of the cheapest little speakers I could find on eBay, um, put them all together. These are, each speaker was shy of four ohms, so I'm running them in series to present like seven and a half nominal ohms at the amp um it sounds good it sounds good but it sounds nowhere near as good that's kind of what made me realize how nice the commercial uh, bluetooth speakers are sounding now wasn't a big fan of my like big you know boxy speakers but so uh after that shootout and i've heard how bad this sounded i wanted to put together something you know with with higher quality components that may rival um this guy since this was all cheap stuff so that's where this comes in. I bought the speakers. These are all Tang Band speakers. <clears throat> I bought them at Parts Express thinking, you know, I was going to design an enclosure, put it together. I was going to 3D print something, put it together, but that wasn't thick enough. So again, six months, nine months go by. I'm almost a year later and I thought, all right, I just have to do something. So I put together, you know, just bought a box on the uh, on Amazon and put together a Bluetooth speaker on it and I am actually floored by how good this sounds let's see let me play it okay a couple things too before we hear some royalty free music um, one of the things so I put uh, this is actually grip tape over this just to you know so it doesn't slip out of your hand no, I don't know it just seemed like something that would be interesting to work with so it's grip tape the uh, you know LED button the sub actually i had to i started out with wood screws and just screwed those into the you know into the base or the container or whatever you want to say and then just from the vibrations very very quickly those screws loose, loosened up so i had to put you know nuts and bolts on there at the bottom with flat washers to pull up against the bottom and use some thread lock to just keep it in there and that seems to have really done the job this stays put uh you know much better like that um, this is that TPP, TPA 3110D2, um, 2.1 channel amp, and it, it does, it sounds amazing compared to like the Bose. This sounds like almost like a full set of, you know, bookshelf speakers. It is so much louder, it's not even close. And the bass, when you really turn that up... it's impossible to uh you know communicate the difference or the the volume you know just over a youtube video but it is amazing it sounds so much better than uh, you know that bose the one thing i didn't hit though you know i wanted to try to do it in a comparably sized box and i really didn't take into account how much bigger you know this is so i might have to try do another take get something a little bit smaller but in any event this thing you know feet on there it uh it sounds really good i would uh, oh this is just a um a cd case you know the black plastic from a cd case so i you know, cut out the wood on the bottom to get the amp controls through and you know i didn't like the way the wood was a little thicker so what i did is i just cut this cd case out um i'll show some video of that and, and put that together anyway there it is hope you enjoy good luck